first of all, I suppose the best place is to kind of like set a bit of a scene. So, um, and we'll, a lot of this we'll cover in more detail as well as we go through, but this technology isn't new. Um, it's become on a lot of people's radars over the last few years. And I think partly because of some of the advances in technology, particularly through Signify in particular. Um, but it really does have huge potential to change the way that we live. It's been used in other pandemics um, to successfully reduce the transmission of other viruses. Um, and uh, yeah, it's adoption in the last few years over parts of the world has been fantastic. And I'll also touch upon how that's been a case in the UK as well in places. Um, but we'll basically be exploring how it can benefit all of us, some of the key kind of commercial drivers and really tapping into that, that mindset of, of selling these type of um, equipment. Um, and as I say, the, the main one is how it can offer a better way forward um, as, a, as a technology, as a disinfection technology. Yes. Although go, going back to the phrase kill, uh, we, ob it, we obviously mean inactivate, um, but ultimately so, it, it's doing the so same properties. It's been also it's been really helpful in obviously not, not just being COVID a threat to other people. pandemics. So just going back to this influenza pandemic in, in the 50s, you know, 90% reduction in transmission because of this level of technology which was going on. UVC in the room, treating the air, making it safe for people to, to, to breathe in and actually interact. And uh, all those particles which exist in that airspace, inactivating them, so there's way less probability and chance of somebody actually uh, breathing in um, part of those influenza particles or whatever it might be, T TB, measles. So um, it's at the source, and that's crucial. So um, it's not before, it's not after. Um, with, with particularly with this air in uh, airborne disinfection technology, it is where we are initially transmitting any particles it's doing it you know right there right then but actually to use uvc disinfection is for infection control um so a little did you know is that in, in terms of a lot of this it's all about air changes in a space and in a room and um uvc can create up to 30 air changes in a room um so in an hour so you're looking at that air kind of changing every equivalently every two minutes um the consultation element of it is to really understand your sterilization objectives and what you're trying to achieve. And what we've seen is that lots of customers have lots of different pain points. Um, sometimes it's trying to get people back into the offices. Um, sometimes it's maybe trying to appeal um, to their customers if it's in a hospitality point of view. This is this is the crux of what it comes down to. You know, are you actually trying to help your people or are you trying to attract more people and make them feel safer in your spaces. Now, sometimes there's some crossover benefit, like obviously, um, you know, you want the idea of making people feel safer in the office too and bringing them back in, but actually it's, it's maybe attacking something like high absentee, um, high absenteeism in that workplace, um, or, or, or something along those lines, the, both of them, actually the, one of the crossovers is actually just sustainable disinfecting and the cost of time involved. Um, so how I see this shaping up in terms of solutions is you've got the clean air bill, which is set to pass making air quality control mandatory in buildings. Uh, and that'll be an absolute game changer. Uh, and just movements generally across the board of legislative re reforms of just making this part of everyday life as well. So yeah, I think it's, uh, yeah, if, if you've not seen UVC already, I think you definitely will uh somewhere soon um and in food production uvc has the ability to be really effective not just in terms of disinfecting but actually um for instance prolonging the shelf life of certain foods of baked goods and things like that um and that's why it can be super valuable in its own different ways and its own different mechanisms there so that's how i think it can change the world